Step 2, Modeling. Open the 2.2 Modeling Steps preset view in the Navigator view map. We are going to model the chair in three steps on the floor plan. First, we'll create the two tabletops using the slab tool, then the four suspensions with the column tool, and finally, the four legs with the wall tool. We'll use the top elevation drawing of the table as a construction aid. Activate the 2.3 Model the Tabletops preset view in the Navigator view map. We'll start the modeling process with creating the double tabletops. The active view set shows only the contours of the elements to allow the use of the magic wand function. Open the slab tool and click on the favorites button. Now, select Upper Tabletop from the list and click Apply. The required slab parameters are set for modeling for the first mainframe element. Click OK on the Slab Default Setting dialog box to return to the floor plan. Zoom in on the larger circle, the upper tabletop, and hold down the Space button on the keyboard to activate the Magic Wand function. The cursor's shape changes to a magic wand, indicating that ARCHICAD will automatically trace the contours of the clicked polygon. Move the cursor over the larger circle until the cursor's shape shows that it has found a polygon and click. Open the slab tool again and click on the favorites button. Select Lower Tabletop from the list and click Apply. Click OK on the Slab Default Setting dialog box to return to the floor plan. Zoom in on the smaller circle, the Lower Tabletop, and hold down the Space button on the keyboard to activate the Magic Wand function. The cursor's shape changes to a magic wand, indicating that ARCHICAD will automatically trace the contours of the clicked polygon. Move the cursor over the smaller circle until the cursor's icon indicates that it has found a polygon and click. Now the two tabletops are ready so we can start creating the suspensions that connect them. Activate the 2.4 Model the Suspensions preset view in the Navigator. The floor plan shows four hotspots that indicate the center point of the four rectangular suspensions. Open the column tool and click on the Favorites button. Select Tabletop Suspension from the list and click Apply. The required column setting values are set so that you can create the suspensions. Click OK on the Column Default Setting dialog box to return to the floor plan. Click once over every hotspot to place the four suspensions. Activate the 2.5 Model the Legs preset view in the Navigator. The floor plan shows the four lines where the legs have to be placed. Open the Wall tool. And click on the Favorites button. Select Table Leg from the list and click Apply. Click OK on the Wall Default Setting dialog box to return to the floor plan. Draw straight wall segments along the four lines.
Now we are finished with the modeling part.